Today we are learning the nest flare bartending move. This is when you catch a bottle or a shaker inside a shaker. There are other variations to this rule, but this is the basic concept. We'll go through the basic nest moves and work our way up to some more difficult variations. So let's get started. Holding the shaker in your weaker hand, you can have a finger or fingers of support, your index and or middle finger. That will help guide the object which is being nested into position. Then grab hold of the bottle like so, we call that tennis grab, and get prepared by throwing the bottle up, catching it and dropping it inside the shaker. So you can get a feel for how that is before you start throwing. Now we can try and throw the bottle up and land it inside the shaker. When you throw, you'll see those fingers of support come in very, very handy to guide the bottle inside the shaker. Now try and throw the bottle from different positions and then step up a level and try a double spin. Using the same grab with the shaker as before, having those fingers of support, they'll come in very handy for this move. Throw the bottle over your shoulder for a spin and a half. And you see you bring the shaker up and those fingers are already out ready for that nest. As the bottle comes down, you can grab hold of the bottle once it's nested with those fingers of support. It takes some practice, but that loose finger can really help guide the bottle inside the shaker. And once you've got that, try it without the fingers. Now let's try and catch a shaker inside a shaker. It's the same concept, except you just have to learn how to spin the shaker correctly. And then once you got that, throw the bottle in there too. We're not gonna use our fingers of support for this one. We're gonna swing the bottle away from ourselves up and land it inside the shaker. So it comes up behind our back for a single spin. We follow the bottle up and then follow it down to catch inside the shaker. Same concept as catching a nest in any other position, but that we're coming up from behind our back and down inside the shaker. Now this one is more tricky and that finger of support is gonna come in very useful for catching the bottle inside the shaker. You'll also notice how I'm moving my whole body down to cushion that catch when that bottle lands inside the shaker. This is a dangerous move, so I do recommend getting a plastic training bottle before moving to glass. But you wanna start by holding the shaker in a tennis grab, which is the opposite to the other moves. And then as you throw the bottle, you're gonna follow the bottle up behind your head with the shaker to nest it behind your head. Now we're gonna add another shaker and try some different variations. So first of all, grab hold of the bottle and the shaker like this. Two fingers on the bottle and the front two fingers on the shaker. So when you want to throw that shaker, you just release those two fingers. So starting simple, we just throw into the other shaker and then the bottle. And then we try some different variations. So we can do a back to front and one more time with the bottle back to front then back to front again, and then we can try over the shoulder with the bottle. You can then hold on to the bottle and the shaker and the catch in hand and then nest the bottle afterwards. Grab hold of the shaker with your index finger and thumb and then the bottle with the remaining three fingers. Then you're gonna put the other shaker into tennis, grab like so, and then you can throw that over your shoulder. You're gonna nest as you normally would, and then once that shaker is securely in position, you can start by swinging your arm up to then release the bottle and nest it inside those other two shakers. Now we're getting technical with two items doing two different things. So we're gonna do a thumb roll and land the other shaker to nest. Hold the shakers like this, one in beer, one in tennis grab, and then when you're ready, you throw the tennis up for a double spin, the beer grab shaker in for a thumb roll. The thumb roll will finish first and then you follow the other shaker down into a nest. Throw, thumb roll, catch, follow, nest. Thank you very much. The most difficult one of the video, but yet the most satisfying. We're going over our shoulder to behind our back. So over the shoulder to behind the back. So hold on to the bottle like so in tennis grab and you're gonna hold the shaker in beer grab. Start by throwing the bottle over your shoulder. As that's flying over your shoulder, you'll bring the shaker around to behind your back, the lower part of your back with the open end of the shaker facing upwards. The bottle will fly over for a double spin. You follow with the shaker, land the bottle inside the shaker. It's really tough, but really satisfying. Good luck. Well, there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. And also make sure you're checking out this video next. This is Shaking Skills. It's one of my last videos. Really useful, some super cool moves in there. I also hope that you are enjoying this skills series. And if you are new around here, hit subscribe because there was a lot before and there is a lot more to come. But that is it for today. Thank you so much once again for watching. Until next time, I'll see you then.